Welcome back. This is part three of my teaching video on chapter one data collection. Let's have a look at exam style question one. The hundred members of a yacht club are listed alphabetically in the club's membership book. The committee wants to select a sample of 12 members to fill in a questionnaire. Explain how the committee can use a calculator to take a simple random sample of 12 members. Let's have a look at the solution. Step number one, allocate a number from 1 to 100 to each member of the yacht club. Moving on to step number two. So in step number two, use a calculator to generate 12 random numbers from 1 to 100. And finally, moving on to step number 3. Select the members of the yacht club corresponding to these 12 randomly generated numbers. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question one. These are the three generic steps of simple random sampling process. You can adapt these steps for any exam style question. Moving on to exam style question two. A factory manager wants to get information about the ways their workers travel to work. There are 480 workers in the factory and each has a clocking in number. The numbers go from 1 to 480. Explain how the manager could take a systematic sample of size 30 from these workers. Let's have a look at the solution. Starting off with step number 1. Ladies and gents, in step number 1 we want to work out the regular intervals. We take 480 and we divide by 30. So we have 480 divided by 30 is equal to 16. So we have regular intervals of 16. Moving on to step number two. Use a calculator to generate a random number from 1 to 16. E dot G dot, that random number might be 3. Moving on to step number three. Select three as the first clocking in number and then select every sixteenth clocking in number after three until you have reached a sample size of 30. Ladies and gents, that completes exam style question two. These are the three generic steps of systematic sampling process. You can adapt these steps for any exam style question. Moving on to exam style question three. Before redecorating the school canteen, the head teacher decided to survey the opinion of staff and students. Part A explained why the head teacher decided to take a stratified sample of staff and students. This is to obtain a representative sample of staff and students. So in part A, I can write to obtain a representative sample of staff and students. Moving on to part B. Suggest a suitable sampling frame. So in part B, the sampling frame for this scenario would be a list of names of staff and students. Part C, identify the sampling units. So in part C, we can write down 
a member of staff or a student. So the sampling unit could be a student or it could be a staff member. Right, there are 250 students and 30 staff at the school. Part D explained how the head teacher could take a stratified sample of size 60. Let's move on to part D. Firstly, we're going to calculate the number of students that we need in our sample size of 60 and the number of staff members that we need in our sample size of 60. Let's start off with students. So with students, we are looking at uh, 250 students out of a possible 280 staff and students multiplied by a sample size of 60. So this gives me roughly 54. Now we're going to look at the number of staff members that we need in a sample size of 60. So moving on to staff. This time we do 30, so we have 30 staff members out of a possible 280 staff and students multiplied by the sample size of 60. This gives me roughly 6. Okay, so that there's the first step. Step number one. Step number two, allocate a number from 1 to 280 to each student and each member of staff. Step number three, use a calculator to generate 54 random numbers corresponding to students and six random numbers corresponding to members of staff. Select the students and members of staff corresponding to these 60 randomly generated numbers to complete the survey. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question three and this teaching video, uh, part three of chapter one data collection. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, uh, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.